Hello my fellow paint monsters, how's life treating you? I hope you're doing great. I'm Aga and this is Hungry for Paint, a channel about handmade watercolour paints. Today I will be mixing colours using the watercolours from Texas Wild Colour. I will be making a chart, I will want to try mixing some greenish and brownish shades. I will be doing a test using my Sakura Pigma Micron pen to see how these paints work with pens and I want to do a little blending test as well at the end. So let's jump right in, shall we? These paints in general are more subdued and more subtle. They need quite a lot of water and quite a lot of time to activate and in order to mix them, to pick them up with a paintbrush and transfer them to a mixing palette, you're going to need quite a bit of water and a little bit of scrubbing with some of the colors. However, personally, I don't mind that much as these paints are really quite unique and I think they're pretty much worth the effort. These are mostly plant-based with some colors that are made from rock or insects. If you'd like to find out more about them, make sure you watch my review video from last week. But in a nutshell, these are quite unusual. Some of these paints offer really nice, interesting textures and some shades that are not really available anywhere else. Like the Avocado Sienna or Cerise Bleu or Chinese Privet Blue for example, or even the Cachineo Carmine. It's quite unique, the way it granulates. So with the colors I chose, there's going to be a lot of purples and a lot of browns. There will be no vibrant bright greens really, as the blues are not clear enough for that really, but you get a lot of lovely natural looking earthy tones. I just adore how radiant Texas Dandelion Orange is. It's probably the most juicy color in this palette and it's pretty strong too. Avocado Sienna is amazing, it can get really dark and you need to be slightly careful when mixing it with other colors as it's so powerful it could easily dominate the other color in the mix. The yellows in general need a little bit more effort to activate and transfer to your mixing plate. The eaves leaf yellow is still the grain and the spring dandelion they all need a lot of water and a little bit of scrubbing. And the same is true for Chinese Privet Blue. Evergreen Privet can become really quite dark and intense if given enough time and water. And the Cochin Hill Carmine gets pretty powerful as well, if you give it a chance. So as you can see, the greens that you can produce using these colors are pretty delicate. It's a bit difficult to get true greys using this set of colors. Probably the closest to being neutral greys are the mixes of Evergreen Privet Green with Ceres Blue and Chinese Privet Blue together with either Avocado Sienna or Oklahoma. So if you want a true grey, these are probably your best shot. In the ink test, I paint over a line I drew using my Sakura Pigma Micron pen and you'll see that the paints are easily transparent enough for you to first do your line work and then colour in on top of it and the lines are going to show through nicely. And a blending test turned out quite amazing. I painted on dry paper using quite a lot of water and picking up quite a lot of paint on my paintbrush. And look how nicely it has all spread out. These work together really nicely. And now I'm drawing a second line on top of the dried paint. And as you can see, the line does get a little bit thicker on top of the paint, but it doesn't really further much. So it's possible to draw on top of these. You just have to take into account that the line is going to be a little bit thicker than what you might expect on white paper. Okay, this is all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you next Friday with another review. But before that happens, make sure to visit Hungry for Paint on Instagram on Wednesday for a chance to guess who our next maker is going to be. If you enjoyed this color mixing video, make sure to press the like button. You can always leave a comment below. I love reading about your experiences with the paint I try, so feel free to share. And if you want to help Hungry for Paint grow, you can always support my channel and coffee. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye!